In this CFD training package, you get familiar with how to simulate phase change materials or PCM in various applications such as FinTube, Triple X Tube, Shell and Tube Heat Exchanger, Storage Tank, Fuel Tank, Solar Heater Tank, and so on. Applying solidification and melting method using ANSYS Fluent software. This package contains seven different CFD projects, including paper validation and also CFD simulations. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. The first project of this package simulates the phase change material or PCM in a fin tube. The inner tube body and its fins are made of copper, which has good thermal conductivity. Also, there is a wall between the silicon flow and the erythritol as PCM. That is the wall between two fluids. Because of that, the thermal condition of this wall should be defined as copper boundary. Following this procedure, uh, we can obtain the volume average of the liquid fraction in the PCM part that is equal to almost 0.93 that shows that in 4000 seconds about 93% of the PCM has been melted. Here is the summaries of the problem definition and problem solving steps in the table as a review. In this project we will numerically validate the data reported by the paper named Enhanced Heat Transfer for PCM Melting in Triplex Tube with Internal External Fume. In the solidification and melting setting we enable the solidification and melting model. Also in the parameter section in front of the Mushi Zone parameter we select constant and we set the value as you can see in the window. Now, the Mushi zone constants measure the amplitude of the damping. The higher this value, the steeper the transition of the velocity of the material to zero as it solidifies. Very large values may cause the solution to oscillate. Now, in this contour, you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain and, and how this PCM material's temperature has changed over the time. Now in this section, just as was discussed in previous slides, we are going to validate the results obtained by our CFD simulation with the results obtained in the paper. For example, in this slide you can see the figure 13 extracted from the paper as the paper had reported the melting fraction of the PCM material over the time. And we first are going to validate this graph using our CFD data. Now, in order to plot the liquid fraction in this project, you just have to go under the report plots and then double click on re liquid fraction plot. After that, under the selected report definition, we select the liquid fraction report and then click on plot. Now, as you can see in this slide, we have clearly validated our CFD simulation results with the paper result and you can see that there is a very little difference between our and the papers. And as our second validation we have selected the figure 7 of the paper which uh, gives us the graph of average temperature over time. Again in this slide you can easily see that our CFD simulation data fits with the data provided in the paper. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. In this project, we will simulate phase changing material or PCM in shell and tube wind heat exchanger. In the appeared window, for example, you can see the mass flow rate defined as the shown value in this fin. As you can see in this contour, the red areas refers to the high temperature areas and the places where paraffin is in liquid form. As you can see in this temperature contour, the water liquid enters the pipes with low temperature and after passing through winding tubes, it leaves the heat exchanger with higher temperature. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project 
is presented to you in the slide. The present problem simulates the performance of a PCM in a circular chamber with a glass cover. Also, it's obvious that the liquid fraction start to increase after the simulation is going on and this uh, solidification and melting contour of liquid fraction is obtained after 600 seconds. A summary of the defining steps of the problem and its solution is given in these tables as a review. In this project we will simulate a storage tank containing TCM. Now in this 3D pressure contour you can see the pressure distribution inside PCM materials. You can obviously see how the pressure builds up inside the PCM material as the high temperature flow gets inside the tank and make the PCM material to melt. Now in this contour you can easily see the high temperature of water liquid entering the storage tank. Now in order to see the 3D velocity contours just like the previous slip you just have to change the variable from temperature to velocity. Now as it was mentioned in the report definition section, we had defined a report on the mass liquid fraction of the PCM materials. When you start the software simulation, you can see that a new window will appear in the software showing you the changes of liquid mass fraction based on time changing. This is how the report would seem when you click on calculate button. You can obviously see when the time progress, the liquid mass fraction increases, which is because the PCM material start to melt. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. The present issue concerns the simulation of a gasoline fuel tank carrying a single-way reciprocating spiral tube passing through the tank. Also, the operating pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure in the operating conditions section. Following this way of volume integral and volume average, we can check every field variable. Suppose that we are going to obtain the liquid fraction after this time interval in the whole tank and the volume fraction is equal to 0 0.063 almost. A summary of the defined change of the problem and its solution is are given material in these with organic compounds that can absorb and store a large amount of latent heat energy. In this project, we will simulate a solar heater of a water tank and the effect of PCM inside it. In the solidification and melting setting, we enable the solidification and melting model. Also, in the parameter section, in front of the Mushi zone parameter, we select constant and we set the value as you can see in the window. Now, the Mushi zone constants measure the amplitude of the damping. The higher this value, the steeper the transition of the velocity of the material to zero as it solidifies. Very large values may cause the solution to oscillate. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change this discretization into other formats like you can change them into first order oven and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. Now in this contour you can easily see the changes of the liquid fraction of the PCM inside our computational domain. And in this slide you can see the temperature changes inside our computational domain at the end of our simulation process. Now in this slide you can easily see the streamlines inside our computational domain and you can easily see the role of natural convection in the motion of our streamlines. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project 
is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at sign mastercfd.com.